guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody is very well today. Um, I thought we would look at the Nip and Fab skincare. I have been using this for about three to four weeks. I will show you the routine that I normally use in the mornings using these products. Um, all I can say is I think they're amazing. They are definitely my holy grail for skincare. Um, they seem to do exactly what they're claiming to do and they're very affordable and I popped onto the website yesterday just to check out the prices and a lot of the, a lot of the products are like five pounds so if you're looking for a new skincare that actually works and is on sale knit yourself over to the knit fab um, website anyway let's get on with it so in the morning I would um, cleanse what well, foam cleanse my entire face neck and then i'll just write some notes down guys because i don't want to be sitting here half the night and keeping you guys from doing whatever it is you do because that's not fair and i can never see even with my glasses the writing is just ridiculously tiny okay so first thing i will do is use these these are called the dragon's blood fix cleansing pads you get 60 in the tub what it claims to do, they are a lightweight hydrating facial pad. They are meant to plump, moisturise and deeply cleanse pores. I would say that's completely accurate. I feel that that's exactly what they do or help to do. Um, so I would normally just take one out of the tub. As you can see, they are textured on one side got like the honeycomb texture and the other side is not textured and just take one as the instructions say and just give it a good rub oh and for 60 um pads for five pound that's well it's a month isn't it because i i normally will do this in the morning and in the evening as well I don't think you can complain at five pound. Okay, so. That's that done. And I have to say, absolutely, ugh. And that's with me already cleansing my face with um, water. Okay, so that's these little beauties. Do you like them? I will continue to like continue using them I like them right second product we would I would normally use is these now these are normally this size 60 pads but I've run out of mine um, when I got my order they sent me these for free so I'm gonna have to use these so basically these are uh, glycolic exfoliate pads these have two percent of glycolic glycolic acid in them they claim to um, retexture and resurface skin they contain hyaluronic acid and reveals brighter and smoother skin these can be used daily because they're literally um two percent um and i think that's all i've got to tell you on that there is more details on here but you know i don't want to be like yeah Okay, so I'll pop one out. They are literally saturated in liquid. And basically the same thing as we've just done. Just take one, rub it all over your face. It does say neck as well. And just will exfoliate any dead skin. And again, these pads are textured. So I always start my T-zo because that's where I tend to have naughty pores and oily skin although that's dramatically uh, reduced since using nip fab skincare i don't know if that's coincidence or you know I like to think it's these that are helping i just feel like my skin is just like reborn i mean i know it, you know it's never going to be like a youthful of a 20 year old but if it sort of turns back the clock a little bit or slows down the aging process I am all for it okay so that's that done 
The smell on them is quite refreshing, quite nice. I can't quite, I don't know what it is. Maybe like zesty, but it's nice and refreshing. I like them a lot. So I need to buy some more of those. Lucky I had them ones. Okay. Then third, I would go in with my serum. It's this one, this is called the Dragon's Blood Serum Extreme. What it does, claims to do, is plumps, moisturizes skin. This has cactus extra, extract, which softens skin, used twice a day before moisturizing. Easy enough. So I'm pretty sure there isn't no Dragon's Blood in here. <laughs> Okay, so I normally would just pump a little bit on my hand. You don't need a lot, guys. Tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Now, you're probably going to think I'm weird, but I actually use a brush to... And just pop some all over my face. And I rub it in. I don't know why. I've always used brushes when I put skincare on. These are just a little cheap brush set that I got off Amazon. I don't know why I do that actually. I've always done it, even like in my early 20s. Don't forget to do the neck, guys. Right in now, nose, under the eye. Get that clumping effect going. Now I have noticed that when this starts to dry out, my skin's feels tight and I, you know I can feel like that tightening happening right that would do for that one then lovely I'm just going to push the product into my skin now I will say guys that this can be a little bit um sticky and tacky it doesn't bother me, but I'm just saying to you guys that if that's something that does bother you, maybe this one's not for you, but they do loads of different ranges on there. Loads of different um, um, serums, all sorts of stuff. Right, once I've done that, I then go in with this. This is the Nip and Fab, um, and it's the Viper Venom Eye Fix. So let me just go to my notes. I do apologise, but it just saves... Um, so, Viper Venom Eye Fix, it's a hydrating boost for under the eye area, basically just massage the cooling rollerball around your eye area. And I like this if nothing else, I just like the coolness of the ball, so there's one of those, you know them, and then I just I've got a hair there and it's annoying me. Okay. I don't go too close to the eyes, guys. And I just try and get... And I go in across. Over. And in and around. I take my ring finger and pat. Very gently under the eyes, guys. You want to be... That skin is so, so thin and sensitive. So refreshing. I might actually start putting this in the fridge, particularly in the, um, oh, well, if we ever get any summer. And again, I can feel that sort of drying out and I can feel it tightening in a good way, not a bad way. So I just repeat on the same side. Go over. Okay, ring finger and just pat. Lovely. Right, right, next we are using the No Needle Fix Moisturiser. This does have an SPF of 20. So 
what does it do? Um, it's a day cream. It targets fine lines, wrinkles, to soften the appearance. SP20, protect from UV rays. Oak extract, smooth skin. Hyaluronic uh, acids, hydrates the skin. Use daily to cleanse face in morning, allow to absorb. So again, dollop some on oh shoot and then i use a clean brush every time i put product on i don't use the same brush although i don't think it would really matter anyway would it and again ribbon and don't forget your neck This might seem quite sort of time consuming, but it's not really. It's only because obviously I'm reading stuff and showing you stuff. Great. Lovely. Happy with that? And then pat okay and then in the mornings what I tend to do is this is not a nip and fab product but this is kind of what I do I do a lip scrub and this is this is elf this is elf Sugar lip scrub. That's absolutely gorgeous, actually. And just rub it on my lips. Bottom. Top. This just really helps your makeup go on a little or lipstick. And when I tend to do this, I've noticed that um, the lipstick will stay on longer. And then the circular motions. Not too hard, you don't need to. I'll do. Then I take some L'Oreal Age Perfect Micellar Water, pop that on a cotton pad, and wipe it off. Mm, nice and soft got rid of literally everything then after that i will put on some plump it this whoa first time i used this made me cry because i put too much on it was so hot and i was like washing it off eating ice i was crying guys it was so painful so now i've learned just to do one click and it's like a gel and you just literally you see that guys one click to do top and bottom if you're going to think about getting this well it does work and i normally just put that on Woo! it works immediately as well it's not a gloss it's like a serum. So, oh. Ow. And then once I've done that, I've got this in one of my boxes. I can't remember which box it was, but I love it. And I went to look on, I think I looked on Amazon to see if they had any different um, colours, and they did, and it's like £33. Not happening. But it's nice just to give a subtle bit of colour. You see when my lips here are getting plumped. That stuff actually works. 
So I only put it on in the mornings and over time, apparently, it's supposed to keep your lips plumper for longer. But that, that kind of like stays for a good, I'd say like six to eight hours, depending on, I suppose, on how much I've eaten and drank and all the rest of it. So there you go. That is my morning routine done and dusted. So I'll let this absorb if I'm going to put some foundation or makeup over the top of it. I'm trying my hardest not to. Um, I, I've just been kind of putting like some concealer where I need it, my redness here under the eye area and I'm just winging it with the rest. I'm trying to have that healthy glowy look. Um, I think I've showed you everything. Just, just uh, for reference, in the evening what I tend to do is I switch it up a little bit. Oh, I can't find, that's it. So cleanse first of all with the foamy one upstairs in the bathroom, then use the Dragon Blood cleansing foams. This is my night routine. Then I go in with, these are the Nip and Fab and these are the Extreme, what are they called? Night Pads Extreme Exfoliant, 60 pads. Now, I would suggest that you, you know, especially if you're just gonna be trying these for the first time, um, to maybe just use it like once a week because these do have like 5% of, uh, what's it called? That glycerin, glycolic, yeah, 5%. Um, so they absolutely do work. And I think it's down to these that actually started to get my skin sort of like to turn it around and to being in where it is now. Um, I think it's down to these. So yeah, I would cleanse with them pads, exfoliate with these pads, and basically just use all the same things again. The serum, the under eye, but the moisturizer I do change and I use this one. And this is the post glycolic fix moisturizer. This does have a SPF of 30, which probably seems pointless when you're in bed sleeping. Why wouldn't I use this one at night that's got 20 and use the 30? I use it that way around because these ones are for nighttime routine because they are extreme and this is for post afterwards. So, and this is kind of thicker as well. This is a proper thick moisturizer. So that's the one that I use. It actually feels more like a night cream than a day cream. And I'm also going to switch it up because a couple of my um, YouTube viewers, audience, community, I got this in one of my boxes the other day and everybody's raving about it. So I'm probably going to maybe switch this out and use that, maybe give it a go. And I think a lot of them were saying they use this as a primer as well. It's supposed to be like some sort of blurring effect. Right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like subscribe comment please comment let me know what your skincare is um if it's any good if i should try it if you've seen results for three to four weeks of using this stuff i'm amazed i do feel like it has made a huge huge difference to my skin and my neck area as well oh my god i want to put it all over my body um if you want to see any more videos of yours truly in them then hit this one or this one. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that one. All right. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Good night. Bye.